While we're finishing heating up our metal in the, in the hot water, what I'm going to do is just show real quick that what we have here is we have some uh, polystyrene cups and in each one we have approximately 58 grams of water. Uh, each one is a little different based on the actual cups they're in, um, but when we go ahead and tear that out. And that 58 grams is equivalent to the masses of these five different metals I have. So each of these are 58 grams including even this big giant one of aluminum here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a little bit of a discrepant event. We're in this beaker for a while now. We have been heating up these five metals exactly as they are. Two different sets. And we're going to place each one into one of these containers and look at how the temperatures change. So currently the temperature in here is very, very close to 100 degrees. And that means that the temperature of the metals is also very close to them because they've been heating up in there for quite some time. So I think we get the idea there that that's heating up towards 100 and that we're approximately 100 degrees. And so carefully, we're going to take these out. So we're going to do this in order. We're going to start with the aluminum here. And we're going to go ahead and place it in here. So currently, aluminum is under the 19.8 degrees for the water. We're going to see how does that temperature change when we put that 58 grams of hot aluminum in there. So 19.8 initial. And we can see that our water temperature is going up from 19.8 and it looks like it's starting to get towards the peak here. We get a little more stirring. So 19.8, so we went up by approximately 12 degrees. So next, we're going to do the same thing with the zinc metal. So we're going to take this zinc metal, which is the second largest one, out of here carefully. And set that in there. And this time we're starting a little lower than that 19.8. I'm going to go ahead and set this up for the next one so the tin will be ready. So what's interesting about this discrepant event is that what you should be noticing is that the metal is changing from 100 degrees down to this final temperature. So for instance, in this one it was a little over 31 degrees. So that's a temperature change of nearly 70 degrees, and yet the water is only going up by 12 degrees. And so we're seeing a huge discrepancy between how much temperature change there is for the water with how much there was for the metal. And the question is, why can there be such a large temperature variation of change between these two substances if they have the same mass. We have 58 grams of water being heated, we have 58 grams of metal being cooled. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and grab the tin here. So for our tin, we're starting at 19.8 again. We're back on temperature sensor 1. From 19.8, we're not going up that much for tin as we were for aluminum, which is also interesting. And here it looks like we're going up to about 23.5. Now we're going to go and do our iron next. Make sure this doesn't tip over. And the 
make sure we can still see it. All right, here we go. Iron on our way. So we're back on channel two, 18.9 to start. So for our iron, we're going from 18.9, and it looks like we're gonna go up a little above 25. So again, we're seeing a six degree increase for the water, six, seven, seven degree increase for the water. Um, but we're seeing a very, very large temperature drop for the metal. This metal went from 100 degrees down to 26.2, and so it's a drop of 73 degrees, and then some. All right, and one last one here, we're gonna go ahead with our copper. So the one that's not gray or silver colored. Trying to get as much of that water. We're starting at 19.1. So the question is, why is the metal capable of changing temperature by such a larger amount? than the water. We have 58 grams of metal combining with 58 grams of water. We're seeing these drop by 60, 70 degrees. We're seeing the water go up by 5 to maybe 11 or 12. And so the question is why? What's going on? It's not a case where the metal is cooling down substantially as we transfer it over. Why is the metal able to change temperature so rapidly, so much in a, such a larger scale compared to the water that it's going into?